Okay, this is fifth grade, lesson 69, and this is on fractions of a second and comparing and ordering decimals. Now, the first thing I want to ask you, if I was, if you were having a race, Eli, and I was timing you on a timer, and you ran from here to the mailbox in 4.3 seconds. Okay. That would really be 4 and 3 tenths. Okay, right? All right. Now, let's say you started again, and I went, started it, and then I stopped it, and you ran it in 4.1 second. Which one's a better score? 4.1. 4.1, okay? Because when you're talking about fastest time, you want the smallest amount. You get that? Understand that? So you actually did better on this one than that one, right? Okay, now... Sometimes they'll, they'll have races like the 100-meter race or the 50 meters or the one mile or different things like that, okay? And they will time people, okay? And so I want you to learn to compare times, okay, to see which one's better. Okay, now we're going to move from decimal numbers working with time as in like who got the fastest time to which one's the bigger number. Do you understand what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I was asking you which one is a bigger number, which one's the correct answer? 4.3. Right. Which one's the best time? 4.1. One. Very good. Okay, so you're seeing the difference. Now, let's talk about these three numbers. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, I'm going to take and put a decimal somewhere in the midst of these numbers and I want you to tell me which one's bigger, a bigger number, okay? Which one's bigger number? The second one? Yes, 12.3, okay? Because 12 is the whole number, one is the whole number, okay? So it'd be like I have 12 pies and then three tenths of a second of the other yeah. pie. This would mean I have one pie and 23 out of 100 out of the next one, okay? So this one's definitely bigger, okay? Now, sometimes it can get confusing when you're looking at decimal numbers and you have the same numbers. So I always recommend lining up your decimal when you're trying to compare them. So for example, okay, those are the same numbers we're working with and this time I lined up the decimals. And you couldn't fill them with zeros because they're messed you up. You can if you want to. It's okay. Really? Yep. Even on the second one? Uh-huh. Because it okay. might get 30, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm fixing to show you something in just a minute. Coming up. Okay? So yeah. you can actually fill them in with zeros. So this tells me how many whole numbers do I have? Oh, uh, what? One whole number. Well, i got two whole numbers, but only one of them matters. So how many pies do I have if these were pies? In this first one? One. How many pies do I have in that one? Twelve. Yeah. So I have ten and then um, two, oh, two over here. So ten and two makes twelve. But I only had one here. So I want you to be able to understand how that works. Now, I'm going to put some numbers up here. And I want you to help me line them up the way I would like you to. When I tell you compare these numbers and order them from the greatest to the least. Your very first step is going to be to do what? I told you, whenever you're comparing them, what should you do first? Line up the decimals. Line up the decimals. So let's do that, okay? ones, this is my ones place, tenths place, hundredths place. Mm -hmm. What should I do right here? Put zero. I want to fill in with zero just so it makes more sense to your brain and that's okay to do that. Okay, so now which one is my biggest number? Probably. Well, all of them have one here. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to look at the next number. Which one has the biggest tenths spot? The second one. Right. So this one would be our first one if we were ordering them from greatest to least. So I'm going to put 1.20. Okay. 
Okay? Then what would go next? Then it would be the third one. This one, 1.12. And then the last one would be 1.02. Okay. Okay? So that's how we do lesson 69. Can I turn it off? Oh.